Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Get the best DLSS performance in Microsoft Flight Sim 2024 by updating your DLL file. Coming up on today's episode of 2020 Flight Simmers. Welcome back. In today's video, we will be using the DLSS Swapper tool to update the DLL file for Microsoft Flight Sim 2020 and 2024. Before I go over how to do this, I first want to explain what you can expect by updating the DLL file. Under Improved Visual Quality, Sharper Textures and Detail, newer DLSS versions often improve how textures and fine details are reconstructed, reduce ghosting and artifacts, issues like ghosting, trailing images in motion, or flickering in reflections and shadows are often mitigated in newer versions. Better temporal stability. The updated AI models may improve frame-to-frame -frame consistency, reducing shimmering or jittery edges. Under enhanced performance, higher FPS. Optimize upscaling algorithms reduce the load on your GPU, providing higher performance compared to older DLSS versions. Lower latency. Some DLSS updates optimize processing times, reducing latency slightly in certain cases. All right, so now you know what you can expect. Let me show you how to get it. All the links for this will be down below in the description. Oh, and while you're down there, make sure to hit that subscribe, tick on that little bell, and smash the thumbs up button to get notified on future videos. The link in the description will bring you over on the GitHub page for the DLSS Swapper tool. Once you're here, you'll head down to Releases, go down to Latest. Once you're here, you have two versions of the DLSS Swapper tool. You can either install it on your PC, or you can just run it from a portable file that you may have sitting on your desktop. Either way, you want to download and then install the application on your PC. Once you have installed the Swapper on your PC, this is what you should be greeted with once you open it up. If you have trouble seeing any of your games or simulators, then go down to the settings cog in the lower left hand corner. Once you're here, you want to make sure that you tick all of the tick boxes in the games library and also allow experimental. Once you're done, you can go back up to the games library tab on the left hand side and make sure that you hit the refresh button. If they're still not showing, then shut down the application and start it back up again. At this point, hopefully all of your games should be showing. At the lower right hand corner of each of the game box, you should have the DLSS DLL version that is being used. As you can see for Microsoft Flight Sim 2020, I have already updated this DLL file. To get the latest DLL file, we're gonna head over on the left hand side to the library tab, and this will list all of the DLL versions that are available. The latest one will be the first one that's gonna populate. Now I have already downloaded this, but for you, if this is your first time, you need to download it first. For your version 3.8.1, you should have a download icon in the lower right hand corner. You will then left click on that, it will download that DLL version. Once that has been installed, you will now get an arrow that points to the right. So all we need to do at this point is to go back to your game library, click on the application you want to change the DLL file for, select the version, hit swap, and it will automatically change that for you. If you would like to revert back to the factory default version, we can click again, hit reset, and it will now reset us back to the default version. All right, folks, that's gonna wrap us up for today. Let me know how this worked out for you down below in the comments section. And thanks everybody for joining us on the channel. If you enjoyed today's content, make sure to hit that subscribe, tick on that little bell, and smash that thumbs up button. To all my Flight Simmer friends around the world, keep the blue side up, and we will see you on the next one. Thanks for watching, everybody.